today. articulated wheel loader heat AC um, all the good stuff windshield wipers lights signals that's about 12 and a half 13 miles an hour down the road and since we use it for mostly free work we uh, got the hard ox valve I think that's a four ton I know it opens up pretty pretty big 50 inches and it'll pick up any log that we've come across. Um, even that that hickory right there in the background doesn't look that big, but it's big. It'll it would probably pick up, I'd say a 16 foot piece, no problem, and carry it out. It's not too bad with that hard ox because you can swivel it. It has auxiliary hydraulics, but you have to hit a switch. Third function. Um, it's not too bad. It's a little heavy. That's one complaint. I think it's about uh, 52 horsepower turbo. Inside, we got gauges, electronic parking brake, lights, hour meter, good stuff, four ways, and then just shuttle shift. Gas pedals over here. That's forward and reverse. And like that and then right here is our AC and we got extra lights reverse lights when you need them forward lights even though you have regular lights down here these up here for the back and then you got windshield wiper actually hold on and it's pretty darn good on fuel um, we got about 70 hours on it so far I think we only did about two times but up here is your heat and AC it does have a radio option interior lights and yes you can close the doors completely up right here is your main stick I'm not going to move it because it's strapped down and then this is your auxiliary and then to do a third function we add you know you got to add a third function switch that's the only thing that's kind of a pain in the butt with the swivel ground other than that it'll lift up just about anything you see there no problem it'll lift up three or four of those red oaks there uh, versus the Bobcat 331 we had would never do it and this thing goes pretty high it'll load any full-size single axle even tandem um, okay and there's the AC and it, it'll freeze you right out of here and there's all kinds of nice cold vents to put on the window and then blow it on your soil and for definitely a nice machine for really hot days and or yeah you can see back here there's a speaker this one doesn't have the radio and there's the other windshield wiper really good visibility I mean pretty much when you got enough mirrors it's like driving a freaking truck down the road the engine is underneath where you sit uh, really quiet Oh yeah, and it has a uh, high and low mode, and low is good and powerful. Anything that that grapple will grab, this thing will just about push it and lift it. It'll pick up a whole tree, 20 inch diameter oak, and drag it, and almost, it'll lift it off the ground, but you gotta be a little careful when you turn, but this thing has such a large counterweight, that's not bad. Let me turn that down. Um, it's really quiet in here, actually. It sounds just that typical Kubota hydrostatic one um, I like the electric parking brake and then yeah if you got a if you're driving on a road right here right signal left signal then you got parking lights high beams or I, I don't think it has high beams it just has parking lights and low beams um, and if you do need extra light there's two more up on top of the cab up here and I'm gonna add some LEDs and strobes and that one goes for another backup it does when you put it in reverse it goes in um, pretty simple for a menu you got your uh, RPMs which 
really don't need with this and book and go um, 77 hours and it's 114 and yes there is a diagnostic but that it will throw codes but um, that's about it and there's your washer fluid uh, yeah it's not a bad machine I just wish it was a little bit smaller maybe this machine weighs 8,000 pounds maybe even more closer to 9 or 10 I know it's heavier than a Bobcat 331 but we also have a 2,000 pound um, counterbalance on the back you can get the option with uh, backhoe but we didn't need that but the good thing is any Bobcat skid steer attachment will work on this um, they gave us a setup that has the quick release the quick index but we have the grapple swivel plugged into that right now you can see right there is the it spins fast too, it's powerful. Um, the only thing that I could say about this grapple versus maybe a regular forward facing bucket brush grapple is this grapple is great for tree guys and setting rocks and picking up stuff and because you can spin it 360, it's really handy. Um, but a regular, uh, you know, root rate grapple or 4 in 1 bucket would work good. But since we have to usually reach in over stuff or um, pick up, it's nice to know when you pick up a, you know, a 18, uh, 20 foot long stick uh, that it ain't going nowhere. And this thing will skid it right out, no problem, off the ground. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's a real nice machine. Uh, it's about versus say a skid steer, a top of the line skid steer. This is probably about 10% more of a cost. But yeah, any logs you see here, I mean, they don't look big in the picture. There's one back there that we figured out the way. Oh God, the Bobcat 331 wouldn't even lift it. Uh, it would only lift one end up at a time with a strap on it and the blade down. Um, this machine right here, uh, the engine's back here, by the way pull those two right here that comes up and everything's right there easy to work on um, but yeah that log back there it's a red oak oh it's got to be 34 inch at the base um, and it's only about uh, nine and a half ten foot but uh, that bobcat would not do it one end at a time yes but this machine actually will lift it up and you could set it on a flatbed no problem um, I don't think you could do that with anything else even a full-size skid steer maybe and plus you're losing a lot of Leverage with that grapple since it sticks out about four feet But it does come in handy having it out for like that that they make that same attachment for uh, skid steers Actually, that is a skid steer hookup um, For some reason they gave us the hydraulic quick neck which would be nice if uh, this was on a farm and you had to keep switching pallet forks and buckets but um, we don't have to do that as much uh, eventually we're going to get all kinds of good stuff but for now this is all we've been using um, it's got some good big tires on it it's pretty hard to get stuck um, and it does not tear stuff up it, it you could drive right out on that lawn right there with the biggest oak log or whatever top and it does not even turn and sharp it doesn't tear up anything so yeah it looks a little goofy with that cab but and you definitely got to have a good size trailer to pull it but if you're on a farm or you do a lot of big tree work you got a crane that's probably a good idea if so, like i said something a little bit smaller would be perfect uh, probably like uh, an Avant or uh, I don't know if Kubota makes any smaller one. We originally were going to get an MT85 or MT100 but according to the dealer they said they would not lift the stuff we wanted to lift. The weight, uh, you know, it would lift and carry but it would not lift it up into say a back of a truck or the other flatbed we got. So, uh, they conned us into buying this, but it's going to get used anyway. And the AC is definitely nice to have in this heat. And the heat will be nice to have this winter. When I'm sure we'll be plowing half the damn uh, 
community around here when everybody else's pickups are uh, stuck. That's the good thing. You can sit in that thing and heat on. Maybe just bring a little speaker with you. Coffee. And uh, you just go plow away. And it's pretty hard to get stuck. The only thing I noticed about it is I believe that counterweight's a bit too heavy. That's got to be a, up around 2,000 pounds. But sometimes if you're backing downhill with no load on the front, the front wheel, since it's a pivot and articulate, it'll <laughs> a wheel comes off the ground and it's scary as hell. But uh, it will go on. It, it goes just about anywhere. I mean, it'll just keep going and eventually it'll either get hung up or it could possibly roll over if you're not careful but really well built um you know, there's a few things i don't care for but overall would i buy one again i probably would get the one with the open cap since it's a little bit lighter and smaller um or i would go with the uh, bobcat sal loader that they just came out with or the avant 